Hi everyone, welcome to my channel and for today I want to show you guys my work in progress on the Art Blob Challenge. But before doing that I wanted to show you guys something I've done a couple of months before in my old sketchbook. As you can see on this page there are a lot of different kinds of shape, a lot of angular shapes and the point was actually trying to make something out of these shapes and as you can see in my on this page there are a lot of different kinds of faces even animals as you can see and it's it's kind of a fun challenge maybe i'll record one of those as well but let's go on to the main feature all right let's get starting as you can see i started out with a blank page and i added my watercolor paint blobs i think you could also do it with acrylic paint but with watercolor it seems to be more interesting to do it because it's kind of Watercolor is kind of transparent when it dries up, so it's easier to go over it with a black pen or a black fine liner or even a black pencil if you want to. And I also try different kinds of strokes. I even splatter some of the paint on it. And as you will see, I will try different kinds of strokes and techniques to make the blobs as interesting and as organic as possible and also as unpredictable. So it's harder to find how should I say, a recognizable shape in them. Some of you might also have seen this challenge on YouTube by other artists like Casey Golden, So Craftastic and many others I guess. Alright, I also tried to do the blobs and different kinds of colors so I don't know, I think it, they would stand out more I think, I don't know why. I see some of the other people doing it all in the same color or having light different hues of the same colors. So yeah, I think the color doesn't really matter, but it was just for me to, to try to get something fun out of it. Alright. And here is the final blob. And now we let it dry out. But as you can see, here, when the paint is completely dried up, you can see that I kind of used sheet paper for this challenge, but that's alright. Anyways, it didn't warp too much, so it's still good to use. And now we can start with the real work, the real challenge, and it's actually getting to draw. As you can see, I sped up the footage a little bit, like three or four times, if I'm not mistaken. Otherwise, it would be way too long for you guys to sit out on it. Alright, so I started out with the first blob, it was one with the splatters, and I immediately looked at it and I saw, like, really long legs and I didn't know how I was going to end up with this either having it some kind of alien thing but actually I ended up with something really really different it actually ended up being a bunny so I don't know maybe some kind of ninja bunny why not that's the fun thing of the challenges because it's it doesn't have to be like something natural or something normal. It can be like um, a superhero or uh, something supernatural as well. And with, the, with this challenge it's kind of fun to see what you can get out of your shapes. And ah, here we go. This is the last one. This is the last blob that I've made and actually this was kind of a weird one for me because I saw some kind of wizard or some mage standing there with a book. I know it sounds weird, but I hope it comes out clear when the final piece is being drawn, so yeah. So as you can see, I actually kind of used the shape of the paint to make the long coat of the magician or the mage. I honestly, I don't even know what he's supposed to be actually. For I, for all I know, he could actually be just some kind of, how should I call it, a, um, a scientist with a book in his hands. An evil scientist. And let's go with the next one. Ah, the blue blob. Let's see. Ah. It's kind of hard to see since my hand is in front of it, but hopefully it will be clear very, very soon. So 
So with this blob, I actually ended up making it look like... It, at, for me, it actually kind of looked like the shark. So yeah, this is actually the fun thing about these challenges, because each person can see different things in them. And here we go. This is where I actually started to turn the paper around. And this is how I actually found... Well, how should I call it? The other character in it. Another interesting part of this challenge is that I actually didn't use any kind of guidelines. I just used the the shapes of the paint blobs to make my yeah, how should I call it? To make the characters. So that was also kind of interesting. It got me out of my comfort zone, not using any kind of guidelines, but it was still fun nonetheless. So that's why it's also interesting. And here in the green pain blob, I actually kind of saw like a traveler or a guru with a really, really huge sleeping bag in his bag. So yeah, why not? And then I added the little details with a little mustache and I don't know what his head is supposed to be. And on to the next one. Here I, I have been striving for this one. I didn't know what I wanted to do with this one. But finally I actually found something. And it looked to me like a floating island. Some of you that have played like Sonic and Knuckles or any kind of Sonic games probably know about Angel Island, the floating island in the sky. So that's what uh, this blob rem reminded me of. Just adding a little bit of the details. And then we go on to the yellow blob. Well, this one was a bit weird to find something in it, but I ended up drawing another bunny again. I don't know why another bunny, but it's just what I saw in it. I don't have any bunnies in mind particularly, just, I don't know. It's a bit of a fat bunny, but cute nonetheless. It kinda reminds me of a Pokemon though, I don't know why. This one was a bit weird, I tried to make, I don't know, I saw some kind of ghost in it. I know a lot of the artists also mentioned that with the watercolor fading away it kind of looks like a ghost, so I tried to avoid it, but this one was, I don't know, I immediately started out with the face and then it's as if the ghost is fading out, but I don't know if this one really came out that good, I don't know. It looks more like a Muppet than a ghost, actually, so I don't know. And now we have the green one. In this one I actually immediately saw a kind of skull-like thing. And that's what I went with. I started doing the skull, and then in some parts I started out with the bones as well. So. I hope it kind of came out okay. And if the skulls weren't gory enough, I just added some blood. Why not?
And now the final one. I've been struggling to find a shape in this one that would be suitable for me. But then... I just kept turning it around, I turning around... Until I found something that actually kind of looked right to me. At first I saw something like a spaceship and it, but then... And then I went for something else. I actually went with a, well, I would say woman's face, but it might be a girl's face. And the big mistake that I made here was actually making the lips way too big. The lips are way too big. Just adding the final details on the last one, and all right. Here we go. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And there we go. Here's the final result, you can also check it out on my DeviantArt account or on my Instagram account. And with this, hopefully I'll be back with something better. I don't know. See you later!